G'day, that's Lot Car Guy here, and welcome back to another delivery unboxing. And it is an SRC special. SRC has sent me the highly anticipated Toyota LMP1. So, thank you very much, SRC. This is going to be a two part review. This is a build kit. So, part one, let's review what you get in the kit together. Part two, I'll do a hot lap around the track and a review on the car itself. So, stick around, let's unbox SRC's Toyota LMP1. So welcome back to another slot car review and as I said in the intro, yes, this is an SRC special and yes, I have got my hands on the Toyota LMP1, which I think was a pretty highly anticipated slot car. Now before we get into that, unfortunately I couldn't film in the shed, it has been raining like cats and dogs uh, all day and it's not stopping for the next couple of days and I just received the car, so I couldn't be in the shed, but the shed's still in the background, so unfortunately you would not be able to hear me if I was in there. Now, they've also sent me some gifts which I wanted to share with you guys before we do the review. And the first thing I want to share is they've sent me a handful of these really cool stickers. First being the SRC logo, and secondly, the Lancia Delta and the Martini livery. Now, we've got a handful of both, so I will try and get these out to some followers as a massive thank you. And of course, I love stickers. What else did they send me? Well, I love this Lancia Delta S4 shirt, and or t-shirt. They've sent me another one. Now, will I wear this? Probably not. Uh, maybe do a giveaway, I'm not too sure yet, but that was a surprise itself. Uh, so thank you, SRC, love it. If you do want one of these, jump on the website, and I believe when you purchase a car, you can purchase one of, the, one of these, or even individually, but check the website out, which I'll chuck up now. What else did they send me? Now, this, the T-shirt was a surprise. This was a huge surprise. They've sent me a beautiful M23 Chrono Competition 2, Colors edition, and I'll do like pink, uh, special livery. Now, again, this was a complete surprise. So thank you, SRC. I have a couple of these already, and these are really good F1 cars. So again, jump on the website. I'm not sure how available pink is, uh, but please jump on there and have a look, and they may have some available. So that was an absolute surprise. Uh, thank you, SRC. I really do appreciate it, and I will do another review of the M23 very, very soon. Now, I don't have it in with me, it's in the shed. They also sent me some beautiful skirting for my track, 25 meters to be precise, which I'll put up a picture now. So thank you, SRC, it's gonna finish the track off. And you'll see in the photo, or well, you might not, there's some changes to the track. I've done nothing serious, but it looks beautiful. So thank you, SRC. Now, we're all here for the uh, Toyota LMP1, and let's take a look at this together. Now, let me move the stickers so I can open it. And straight away, I absolutely love this slot car packaging. Now, if you're not an SRC uh, purchaser yet, or you haven't got one of their slot cars, they normally do a black and gold um, packaging. This red and black, I think, is the best yet. That is beautiful. So well done, SRC. Now, I'll quickly do a scan around as per usual, but I think the red and black is a winner. Now, I'll quickly open up the package to show you what we're working with because I'm gonna to have to zoom in and we'll do a proper tear down together. Now, this is a white kit. This is a build kit. And as you can see, before we do zoom in, let's have a look at that. There it is. Oh, I'm honestly, I'm blown away. This, it already looks good unfinished, but this is a build kit. So part two will be this completed and ready for a shakedown on my track. Now, let's zoom in. I'm gonna show you what you get in the kit itself. I, I might do a build on camera, I'm not too sure yet because it, it may take some time, but let's see what you receive when you purchase the Toyota LMP1 from SRC. Alrighty, so let's get stuck into this unboxing and straight away you have got this beautiful red and black SRC slot car box. Now if you haven't purchased the car from SRC before, normally they come in a black and gold uh, box, but this red I think is a winner. Now it's the same all the way around, but a beautiful looking box. Let's open it up. Now there's gonna be a lot in here, so stick with me and we'll go through it together. So I'm gonna move, let's move this out of the way and we'll, we'll do a tear down uh, piece by piece. So straight away, you've got the car card, which will show you all the pieces with the reference numbers on what you get in this kit. So I think that's a really good, and I'll try and zoom in a bit, a really good addition. So you know what you're buying. There's a bit of information on the car, 
But if you need replacement parts, there's your shopping list. Next you've got, and I think this is a no-brainer for a, a white kit or a build kit, is instructions. Now, I'm not the greatest at kit building, but this will help me. I have got some white kit cars from other companies, and I think this is what's definitely missing. There's no guesswork. This will tell you what goes where. So this is genius. So if you are worried about getting one, this should alleviate some uh, stress because this will help you build the car. So really, really cool. And of course, all the social media stuff and a QR code which might have some information to assist you. Now what's next? And this was a little bit of a surprise to me. I did not know this was in the kit. Being a white kit, normally you get a white car and that is it. But here we go, we've got the Denso livery stickers to finish off the car. That is really cool. Now, for the purpose of my review part two, I will not put the stickers on because I want to run the car, but that is really good that they've added the stickers themselves. Really cool. What's next? Now, another new touch that they've done is this beautiful orange baggie that they've uh, put together, which has got some parts and pieces. So let's have a quick look at the design. But I do like the orange, spare parts and accessories. And in here, we've got the tires and the rims, and they appear to be plastic from feel. But there you go, there's your tires and rims in a sealed little baggie. What do we have next? So we've got another one of these beautiful orange baggies and inside here, and I won't go through everything individually because there is a lot of pieces, but there you've got some cockpit work, you've got some glass for the headlights, you've got a lot of finishing off parts in here to finish the slot car off itself. And of course, the instructions will tell you how to do that. And it, as always, we've got the QR code on the back with some more information. Really cool. I actually like the uh, orange um, on the baggie. They've also added in some grub screws and two Allen keys to help finish the car off. Again, the small things matter. You might receive a white kit and you don't have the tools to finish it off, but here they are. So really cool. So two Allen keys in there with some grub screws. What else do we have? We have got the braid and some springs because I believe this runs the spring suspension. So I'll see if I can get without no shine. So some nice braid and some springs. What else do we have in here? We've got some more bobs and bits. We'll go through them individually. These look like uh, maybe they're bearings, I'm not too sure, or toppers for the suspension heads. I'm not too sure what they are. Uh, but again, the instructions will tell you. And it looks like all high quality uh, material here. And again, some more screws that'll be help finish off the body. All bagged it up for you so you don't lose them. Uh, moving along, we've got some grill, some mesh grill work, some finishing touch pieces. So really cool. And again, hopefully that glare is not ruining the shot. And another thing which I thought was really cool, let's not get to that yet, nope. We've got some axles and then some more finishing off, uh, looks like support arms or suspension arms or something similar, but there's your axles. So that, I believe, is the parts done, but they've also added in a screwdriver to help you finish off um, putting the chassis and shell together. And again, sometimes you are searching for the tools to finish it off. It's all in here, it's a complete kit. I think that is genius. Really, really good. Now let's bring, oh, and of course, the plastic cover which is molded to cover the car, and I'll show you that now. Let's bring the car into play, and there you go. Holds the car into place. SRC don't use screws to screw the car to the base, meaning the, the display base. They use these plastic sleeves to hold it in place. So that's really cool. Now there's the car, what a beauty. It looks incredible. Uh, even in white, unfinished, oh, I'm absolutely blown away. Now let's take the body off first and let's move that out the way. Now to remove the chassis and shell which came completed, so that the chassis and shell uh, came together. Uh, so that was actually screwed together. And for the ease of review, I've unscrewed those two. And it was these two beautiful gold screws. Uh, very easy, and I'll show you those locations in a second. But what else do we get in this box? Let's remove everything that's in here. We have got the motor, which is a P1, 21,000 RPM. And that's what you would find in the F1 car. So a nice motor there. Uh, the pinion, I believe, was a 11 tooth, and the crown is a 28 tooth, which is in the bag. So if you've got a ratio list on you, you'd be able to tell what the ratio is. I don't have that on me, sorry. So that's all inclusive. Now, let's move that out of the way. Let's bring in, let's look at the shell first. And look at that. Beautiful. Unfinished, not touched, but I still love it. Uh, what's quite interesting about it, it's a two-piece uh, shell, but let's have a quick screws around it. It is quite wide. I like, I like how nice and wide it is. 
very light, extremely light, but let's flip it upside down. And as you can see, the front is connected by these screws, which you have a screwdriver to take them off. So if you do damage the front, I believe that might be a replacement part. Obviously, always contact SRC first, but that is pretty genius. If you do break the front, you can replace it. And then around to the rear, what is beautiful spoiler. What a great looking slot car. And again, unfinished, it's a white kit. I'm blown away. Now the chassis itself. Now we've got a removable engine mount. Let's have a look at that first. A removable engine mount. And SRC has definitely gone in the direction of racing or club racing. So it's good to see. Now we've got an inline setup and we've got an angle winder. So you can set this thing up in a couple of different ways, which I think that's a great idea by them. Uh, they are a racing company. And that's good to see. Now that drops into the holder itself like so. And I'll do that properly and it sits in the resting arms. There you go, drops in easily. So let's take that out and let's check the rest of the chassis to get that. Now again, not too, actually very, it's not too flexible at all. Nice, um, nice and thin, very thin. Good looking chassis. I haven't ran this yet, so I'm not too sure how it's gonna go. It looks fast. Uh, flip it upside down, we've got a decent sized guide. Now I'm running Carrera track, so my guide slot is very deep. So it'd be good to see how this performs. But there you go, beautiful looking chassis. Now you got your, that was your chassis and body mount there, and then you've got some other screws that will hold some body parts on, but that's what re removes the chassis and the shell. Really, really cool. Really excited to do part two. Uh, and sorry, it's not a spring-loaded guide. It's a just a fixed uh, swivel guide, so no spring-loaded there. So part two, I will have this thing built. I will then do a proper teardown showing you where everything went. I won't do a build because it will take some time, a build video. But the next review I'll do in, in, in due course will be the car finished. We'll do a proper teardown. Then I'll do a hot lap and see if we can post a quick time on my track. So thank you SRC for sending this to me. I'm very excited. Uh, apologies I'm not in the shed. Uh, I had to work with what I got today. The rain is horrendous. But as always, at that slot car guy on Instagram. Thank you everyone. Take care. Be safe. Ciao.